One week after Mario Andretti met with a bipartisan group of lawmakers on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C., the House Judiciary Committee has officially launched an investigation into Formula One playing hardball with Andretti Global. Now, Sahil Kapoor from NBC News obtained the letter that you are seeing on your screens now, written by Congressman Jim Jordan, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, who demanded answers from Formula One about the decision to block the partnership between Andretti and General Motors. The link to this uh, NBC News article is in the video description below. Now, Jordan lists Andretti's success by being the only one of four teams getting approved by the FIA to join the F1 grid while calling F1's excuses to deny them a spot as pretextual, arbitrary and unrelated to the team's suitability to compete in F1. Those excuses include uh, competing for race wins and podiums is the only way to add value to the sport. Uh, the use of an existing manufacturer damaging F1's prestige and standing plus all the challenges of a Cadillac power unit in year one. Now, if Formula One must uh, hinder uh, competition and harm consumers to protect failing competitors, then the entire Formula One model may be broken and the the entity cannot hide behind the, necess the necessity of a sports league uh, to pursue anti-competition conduct. Now, delaying Andretti Cadillac's entry into Formula One for even one year will harm American consumers to benefit failing Formula One teams. Limiting the number of teams in Formula One will increase the price of sponsoring or buying into an existing Formula One team. And as the committee examines this matter and considers potential legislation around the structure and competition of sports leagues, we write to request a staff level briefing on the decision to deny Andretti Cadillac's application to join Formula One. In addition, we ask that you please provide the following information. You ready for this? One, all documents and communication referring or relating to the process for evaluating the entry of new teams into Formula One. Two, all documents and communications referring or relating to entry of Andretti Global into Formula One. Three, all documents and communications referring or relating to the January 31st, 2024 decision to exclude Andretti Global from Formula One. Four, all documents and communications between or among Formula One Group or Liberty Media and the 10 current Formula One teams referring or relating to the entry of a new team or teams into Formula One. And five, all documents and communications referring or relating to the entry fee or anti-dilution fee of the current Concord Agreement and possible changes to the entry fee or dilution fee in a future Concord Agreement. And that, as you can see, please schedule the briefing as soon as possible, but no later than 5 p.m. on the 21st of May, 2024. So, Ben and Matt, welcome back. I had to get super close to the laptop to read that one as well. Are you surprised, Ben, starting with you, how quickly this has escalated after Mario's meeting last week? And do you feel, do you fear the investigation by Congress could hurt Andretti's F1 chances if it gets even uglier with Liberty Media. <laughs> you know, Stefano's really messed up this time because he he's put me in a position where I have to root for Jim Jordan. I mean, this is unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. We've gotten to the point where I find myself having to root for Jim Jordan here. I mean, I, you've got to be kidding me. After all, everything that went down in the house... You know, the, the last time we had, we had this whole speaker debacle and everything, ugh, it just reminded me of. A, look, the next the next six, six months, dare I say, the next nine months, because we know it's not going to be over the first week in November. I mean, <laughs> it it's just so, so, the state of U.S. politics, guys. You know, you guys are really missing out. It's the greatest reality show on television. C-SPAN's ratings must be through the roof these days. But anyway, I. <laughs> 
to, to actually answer the question. The UK. We, we've got the UK. We've got the Tory party and the Labour party shouting at each other, one calling for a general election, and the other saying the country doesn't want it. And that party just got hammered in the local elections to where the Labour party now is more than a thousand points better off, which means if there was an election, the Tories would lose. Honestly, you think you've got problems. We've got the House shouting at each other. It's brilliant. <laughs> I don't. I don't doubt that you guys have problems too. I'm just. I, <laughs> I wouldn't call it brilliant, but uh, that's another story for another day. It's it's hard for me <laughs> to imagine it being much worse than it is over here. We'll just we'll, we'll leave it <laughs> at that. This isn't U.S. politics tonight. This is great tonight. We'll try no. to keep this as uh, you know centered on onto the sport here as possible. But hey, hey, keep politics out of sports, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ever works. <laughs> How's I mean, the Kissy Mazepin doing? <laughs> this is this is the thing, man. Like, I, I feel I feel so torn here because, like, of course, anybody who's watched this show knows that I have very strong feelings on this issue here. Um, but again, I I don't know. I don't see how it could really hurt at this point. I don't know how anything could hurt the team. At the moment, the team's not allowed to join the grid, so you mm. might as well pull out every possible option here. And and getting U.S. Congress to to launch a probe or investigation or whatever. Um, you know, I, am, am I surprised how quickly it's escalated? I'm not because Michael Andretti has continued to say, he said this the day they got denied. Our work continues at pace. They, they are, it would not surprise me in the slightest if they go ahead and build an entire car, mm -hmm. two cars and actually show up to Australia in 2026 or whatever the case may be. I think Mario said this weekend that that's still their goal is 26. That they could mm. just go up on the grid and say, what are you going to do? Turn us away. I mean, that's how serious, that's how dedicated they are to this. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not surprised it's escalated. <sighs> You know, look, at, at this point, and again, I'm, I'm trying to be as objective as possible here because as an American racing fan, you know, I, I, it's it's difficult for me to separate those emotions from trying to to look at this as objectively as possible. And I'm doing my best here, but I, I do feel like a lot of American fans have been slapped in the face by a, an American team with an American manufacturer being told these are the demands and meeting every demand. And even after the goalposts continue to be moved, meeting every demand after that, getting approval from the FIA and then finally he's being told, we still don't want you. So, you know, for, for Congress to get involved here, you know, again, I've, I've got mixed feelings about it. But at this point, what do you have to lose? You just pull out every possible stock imaginable. And, uh, you know, let, let's see what happens at this point. I say to heck with it. You know, I mean, we, we, have to, we have to find a way to get this team on the grid because the amount of resources, the amount of time that Mario and, and Michael especially are investing into this project that's the, the, it's not going to be a good look for anybody if all that goes to waste and they're still not allowed under the grid at the end of the day. I guess the most recent opening that they've left the door for is, is when Cadillac's supposed to come in in 28, I guess. So I, I don't know. It, it's not, it, I, I still have very little hope that it's going to be resolved anytime soon, but we, we've got the U S Congress involved at this point, guys. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. Ed says, to be fair, we have also had the EU involved in F1 with the tobacco advertising ban comes to mind. Yeah. I don't disagree with that. Uh, I'll go back to a, a comment that I've made on this story before. I am bored of this. Just open the damn door and let them in. A team has never been this desperate to race in Formula One. And I use that desperate word. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, a Hispania racing team, we're not going, eh, we could do it. Eh, we could do it. Uh, this is Andretti going, please, for goodness sake, let us in. Even Bruno Michel, the boss of F2 and F3, said, uh, this week because there was that story that we talked about on the show that they want to run a team in f2 and f3 and even Bruno michelle said there's no room for them here uh, something needs to be done i kind of feel like if this goes the way i've got that in the back of my mind if this goes the way of andretti coming in we could lose we'll end up losing williams we'll end up losing uh a Salba, although if they weren't becoming Audi, we'd lose a Salba. The, these teams at the back of the grid will actually do what they say, uh, and because they're not getting their piece of the pie, take what pie they've got and go away. Uh, and I kind of feel like at the end of the day, it might be a detriment, but we'll see. I mean, uh, this story's got a long, long way to run. I don't think that we talked about it on the show last week when they said we have to hear from you back on Friday in Miami. I don't believe Nothing. anything ever got said, did it? 
We talked oh. about on, that on the show last week. I was kind of dipping in and out of the coverage during Friday for practice and uh, whatever qualifying session that was on Friday. Still can't get Sprint back to the F1 schedule. Uh, that anything was ever said. So now we've got this. And now they've again given us a date. What was that? May 21st, it said on there, um, which is, what, two weeks' time or so. Will they ever? Monaco. Yeah, well, yes. Again, a, another big marquee race in the paddock where people will be, much like it was this weekend. Um, so Tuesday, I think. Uh, yeah, what happens then? Uh, throw them all in the Monaco Harbour, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> the Alberta Ascari approach, very nice. <laughs> Yonk, straight in. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, yeah, well, who's bullying who at this point? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I can't work out anymore. It's like it's time with F1 bullying and Jetty and now and are bullying Formula One. It it's weird. I can't work it's, it out it, anymore. Michael's turned up at the park and there's a group of kids <laughs> playing with a football. He's can I play? No. Well go on. No, no, we don't want you to play. Oh please let me play. It, it's just uh, I know what yeah. I understand everything, but it just uh, I'm, I, as I've said before, I'm bored of this story. Oh, and of course, Williams need to bribe the FIA to let Kimi Antonelli race next week. So there's that too. Oh, don't even, don't even get me started on that one. Holy mackerel. Yeah. Actually, just to bring After you what? up on that. Yeah. Um, if that is the case, <laughs> then F1 might be sued because A, not old enough, B, doesn't have a super license, and C, a terminated a contract of an American driver, which what, is a big was, deal. And who was the other American driver that was closer to a super license that was trying to mm. get approval to come into an Alphatari seat? Who drives for <laughs> and else in, the, in the, another? I mean, it's it's no. weird, isn't it? If he get if the, if they give no disrespect to the kid, I know he's you know I want to throw this on on Kimmy himself, mm. but. If they give him an exemption, I, I never want to hear that there's no vendetta against American drivers in the sport, whether it's you know knowingly or unknowingly ever again. Because think think about how they treated Colton Herta, how they treated Alvatore when they were trying to bring him over, how what what's going on with Logan Sargent this year, and that he would be the one to lose his seat if this exemption were to go through. It's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And then you and then you top it all off, obviously, with how Andretti Global's been treated trying to come into this sport. Something um, very similar happened in World Superbike in, I want to say, 2009-10. Ben Spees came over mm. from America into the World Championship in Superbike and blew everybody's doors off for the first half of the season. And MotoGP brought in the rule where you couldn't go straight to a factory team, and it was called, the mm. in air quotes, the Ben Spees rule. So he couldn't go straight in and start blowing everybody's doors off on a factory bike to make them all look silly. And he had to go and race for a uh, uh, Poncherau's team. So it's not the first time that an American has been stopped from doing things in that Colton Herter fashion that we, you uh, mentioned before. Uh, Ed says the and Antonio now, business yeah. is like an unnecessary distraction. Let him focus on F2 and let Sergeant finish the season, off for which he has paid for, I might I add. They put so much time and money into him. Uh, why, why do the DeVries on him uh, like they did last season? Well, I mean, Williams have got more problems than just who they've got driving the cars if they can build the cars in time. No can, question. Can we, let, go on. can we let the kid at least get an F2 podium first? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the other thing. It's, it's not like, oh, he's won every F2 race with these kids. Like, I mean, I understand there's a lot of hype. He's got a lot of talent. He has the results from earlier in his career to back up the hype and everything. But can, can we not, can we not for stabbing him and just rush him into a top, well, not a top team, obviously with, with and, what Williams is in, but rush him into a top series seed in formula one before he's ready I, I just i don't get it for Stafford, of course uh didn't race in gp2 or f2 he came straight from the old Euro. proper yeah. some people would say fia formula 3 championship before formula 3 was formula 3 before it was formula 3 and then before that was the, old, the other formula 3 uh so he didn't even miss that mark out entirely i don't remember the, all this razzmatazz going on for people like george russell in his f2 year uh, charles leclerc for instance, Lando, we'll get to him later. Um, all of this happening, it's just, I don't know, it's the Mercedes push behind uh, Antonelli, I feel like. And, of course, they need someone in their car next year. 